a new method has been added to B-axis turn mill, which allows the tool used on a rotary surface milling feature to be set at a fixed B-angle. All of this is done without invoking the simultaneous 5-axis. Though this option does not require a simultaneous 5-axis license, turn mill, 3D and advanced turn mill are required. So on this example you can see we've got a cast part and we want to machine the rest of the component. In the case of this part you can see we've got some 3D surface features that we need to machine. Unfortunately because of the shaft that's poking out of the front of this component if I want to machine from the bottom here you can see this is going to get in the way of the head of the machine. So we need to tilt the head over. However, we don't want to use any 5-axis machining, we're just going to simply use the new option for rotary machining. Now there are already some features created, we have a face, a hole, a turn operation and a rotary operation. In this case I'm going to simulate using the Morisiki NT4250. So here's my cast part. I'm going to play to each operation. So we have the face, the turning operation, and the hole, and then we have our 3D rotary machine. However, we can clearly see we've got a gouge mark, and that's because the head of the machine is colliding with the chuck. In this case I want to use the new option for indexing the head over. I do this by simply going into the rotary toolpath, into the tool axis, and you'll notice we have the new option for specifying the angles. In this case I'm going to invoke a B angle, and I'm going to set this to 45 degrees. Again recalculating the toolpath. Of my face operation, my turning operation, the hole drilling, and now you can see that the B angle has been tilted over. I can now successfully machine this component without having the tool either hitting the chuck or the base of my part.